Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad. And today is another ship with me, work with me, and what sold video kind of all wrapped up in one. So these seem to be doing pretty good on my channel. So I'm going to continue to do them. Um, and you know, it's they're fun and uh yeah, I'm not awake yet, so I'm gonna drink more coffee. <laughs> okay, so okay, so I did my Poshmark labels already, so I need to go to eBay because I have eleven eBay. Well, twelve things sold, but only eleven have paid. But the other person just bought it this morning, so I mean it's not that long. Um yeah. So the first item is this pair of Uggs. Um, I picked it up, I think it was thrift store. It was a mistake purchase. I've learned my lesson. Um, not all Uggs sell well. And I, was, that was back when I was still getting things from thrift stores. So um, this sold for $32 and it just shipping. Okay, I put the shipping down as $8.30 at a flat rate. I think it'll fit. They're size 11, but sometimes those will still fit. Um, after fees, my cog, which is 620, um, I made $13.54. So I tripled my money. That's good. You know, um, I'm happy to triple my money. I don't go to thrift stores anymore. So yeah. All right. So let's see if we can get it in a padded flat rate. I am going to use my thank you sticker today. And, you know, honestly, I've never had an issue with putting things in a pad flat rate. I think I want to put the biggest part first, though. I think it's going to fit. Like, barely. Yeah. It's, it's going to barely fit. You see that? I'm going to be able to close it, but, like, barely. Because these shoes are over a pound, I think. Oh, they're not. They're not. They're not over a pound. So we are going to put it in this instead. I've still, I've sent shoes like this before. Never had an issue. Oh, yeah. I get much cheaper shipping than I did. All right. I don't know why I turned it off. Dumb. Yeah. 14 ounces. 14. 14.8 ounces, so 15 ounces. Awesome. Okay, so I gotta fix how much I charge for shipping to myself. Um, where are you? Okay. Let's see how much it really cost. So, not priority. Was the buyer selected priority? Because I had put it down as two pounds. Crap. So I really can't do that. You know, I'll just do priority. Because I already said I'd do. Oh, actually, first class is six sixty eight. Might take two extra days. You know what? I'm just going to risk it. I know it's risky. But they didn't pay for shipping. I am paying for shipping. So that's why I usually put everything at uh, first class. And then things that are actually more, they just get an upgrade. So I think that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm just going to do... Because I do have an another... I did this... Let me start that over. I, I do have another option on my first class uh, shipping um, thing that upgrades them. If it is truly first class, it upgrades them to priority, but then they pay $5. So, you know, I, but that, that wasn't this. I just had marked it as that. So I'm actually going to do it first class and see, hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass, but we'll find out. I'll report back if it does, but I don't think it will. This first class has been actually pretty good. It's been getting there pretty fast. So, all right, six sixty-eight. It is. That means I made more money, which is nice. 
Okay, but I made fifteen dollars and sixteen cents profit instead. So let's print this, put it on the package, and I need to get these back over here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All my I made a lot of popcorn sales this weekend, or yeah, over the three-day weekend. I did not ship anything on Saturday. Um, I don't always ship on Saturdays, even on long weekends. I tell people I ship Monday through Friday, so that's what I do. I ship Monday through Friday. I don't want to ship it on Saturdays, so I don't. And that's okay. I mean, I know there's people out there, the resellers that are like, you got to ship on Saturdays. And you know what? If that's what works for you. I'm, you know, that's cool, but that's not what I want to do. And that's also cool. I can do what I want. You can do what you want and everything's okay. Right. Um, I just don't, I just don't like those resellers out there that are like, you have to do it this way. This is way that my way is the only way. And that's not true about any of this. Like it doesn't matter. Your way works for you. My way works for me. Somebody else's way works for them. And that's okay. We can have different models. And we can do different things, and that's okay. So, all right, so that is in the first class page. So, back. And which one? Okay, so the next one is this Laurel Laurel Piana. Now, it wasn't like Laurel Piana, and it would have sold for a lot more if it was just Laurel Piana, but it wasn't. It was for Brooks Brothers men's uh 44 are brandwood um 100 wool navy blazer it has these really cool i'll show it to you since it's not a thing it has these really cool buttons that will they have like little i don't know bison on it i guess anyway so it's a nice blazer and it is sold for 85 dollars but let me tell you I think I put down $14 for shipping. So let me go back to my spreadsheet. Okay, yeah, so it is, I, okay, put down $14 for shipping and the fees were $17.64, that is with promoted. I do promote it, uh, if you're new here, I do promote it as suggested plus 2% and I recently upped it. The, at this point it was at 12% cap. I recently upped my cap to 15%. Case. And so after my cost of goods, which was two dollars out, and all the other fees and the shipping, I will make fifteen. No, not, wow, fifty-one dollars and thirty-six cents. I got this at the bins, uh, and it took about. I got it. I got this. I listed this on October fifth, and it sold on fourteenth of January. I was gonna say July. I'm like, this is not July. It would be a lot warmer outside if it was July. Anyway, so. Um, I took this, I want to get some lint off of it. I do lint roll everything before, but, um, sometimes it gets a little linty just being out in the element. Cause I have this in my living room on my, uh, living room rack, which eventually all that is going to go back downstairs. Uh, but I need to keep reorganizing my basement which let me tell you how big of a chore that is like my basement is 1,000 square feet just under really it's like it's like nine like 78 or something like that so it's just under it's not finished and I have things in the first room like they built it they basically framed in a carport and so they didn't like when it rains hard, it gets onto the pavement because it's all a, a slab, basically. And so there's no, like, um, carpet or anything because it's unfinished. Um, there is brown board above me, and that's basically it. It's just unfinished brown board, which is like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's like. But it's basically, that's my ceiling, you know, the light that hangs down. Um, eventually, we will want to raise, we have to raise the house because... It's um, the where I live. It's required that you have the code is seven feet, 
three inches in order to finish your basement and my basement is six foot my house was built in 1925 so that gives you an understanding of why we need to raise it so we do eventually need to do that um but we're waiting for the interest rates to go down before we refinance our house and pull some money out of the equity to do some home improvement things because even if we sell our house which i don't want to even when we move to england i want to keep this house here and like rent it out or something you know do airbnb and get like a maid service that comes over and that kind of thing um but yeah I, it would be nice if we could you know have a finished basement and stuff like that then we can just keep all our crap that we don't want to bring across down here and uh downstairs and then you know rent out the top which is 1150 square feet so yeah okay let me ship this and stop talking anyway i'm glad this sold i do like the pickup blazers especially at the bins i mean you can't go wrong and if they say Brooks Brothers and they're wool, even though this doesn't feel like wool because it's like a fine wool that's, you know, woven together. Okay, so now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this in. Actually, I bet you I can get this into a padded flat rate. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I need these bigger. I wonder if I can fit it in here. I do want a little bit of protectant in there. Whoop. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't fit. Might be a tight squeeze or not. But if I can fit in there, I will. Because, yeah. Because I want to save money on shipping as much as humanly possible like anybody else. And since I'm paying for the shipping still, oh God, I hate that. Went in on itself. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm, when I'm paying for shipping, you know, I, I don't want to do a more expensive one than I have to. Oh yeah, I, I'll fit it like this. Maybe I can fit it like this too. Let's try it this way. I it won't. I think it will. Shake it in there. Yeah, it'll fit. Okay, cool. So I fixed some money for myself, so I'll make more money now. Yay! That's always nice. More money is always good. And I'm gonna put eBay tape on it. I gotta reinforce it a little bit. Yeah, it's in there actually quite well. So yeah, I'm sure they won't be upset by that. Ooh, is there another, did the other thing pay? We'll respond to offer. Oh, these lowball offers on eBay with free shipping. It's like, I, on a puffer jacket, someone offered me this morning $20 with free shipping. I'm like, decline. Like, fuck you. No. <laughs> no. I'm not desperate for a sale, so I'm, I'm doing fine. Even though I'm not going to hit my target of 10,000 in sales this month. Um, I'm hoping to get to seven though. That would be really cool. If I can get to 70% of my goal, I think eventually I'll get there, but I think it's going to take me a few months to try. Um, I'm not even going to respond to that right now. Okay. So I'm gonna print this out and then fix my spreadsheet my vendu i do use vendu if you are curious what i use um i have tried the other one uh, one other one was perfectly but i really like vendu better in the end i'm glad i switched i did switching because i had an issue with the other one but um, once i switched to vendu i didn't have that issue anymore so it wasn't me but um i'm actually glad that i switched because i really vendu's great and I, I like the interface a lot better, honestly. So, and if you are interested in using a cross-listing cross software, 
Um, I use it to manage my inventory, which I think is a very good thing to do, especially in this day and age when we need to process things. I think it's good to have things in one central location in case anything happens to any of the platforms. That way you have a backup. You know, there's been those times where eBay lost a bunch of people's pictures and then they had to like re-photograph things. And all I would have to do is relist, relist and relist, delist and relist. Would it be a pain in the ass? Totally. But would it be the most biggest take pain in the ass ever? No, because I use Venju. Anyway, I have a link below um, in I get a kickback and you get a percentage off your first month. I think it's 30%. But don't don't quote me on that. I know it's percentage. I just don't remember what it was. It's been a while since I talked about it. Anyway, um, yeah, heard this. Wow, my brain not doing that well today. Oh yeah, I have not been sleeping well the last like couple weeks, honestly. Um, but last night I slept a little bit better. But I've been waking up a lot in the middle of the night, and I don't know why. Like other than I have insomnia. You know, but I'm not like, usually it happens when I'm more stressed. I'm not like, actually, I'm actually way less stressed than I usually am. So I don't know. I don't know why, but I mean, I think it's getting better though. That's the thing. It is getting better. I got more sleep last night than I have in a while, but still, still a little groggy. You know what I mean? But anyway, so let me fix my spreadsheet now. Oh, Hey, well, tell me what's been new for you lately. Um, I'd love to hear it in the comments. I fix this. Okay. So it wasn't, it was 8.30. Okay. Makes me happy. So goes priority. And so now I made $57 and six cents for the spreadsheet. Cause I will not remember later on. And it's like, I'm making the rest than I thought I was going to make. Why didn't I update it? Okay. Back to this. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. Right now I have it at 25, um, but I'm pretty sure I speak loud enough. And the last time I, uh, uh, what do you call it? The last time there was another offer. No. Okay. No, nope. I'm going to have to respond to that offer later too. Okay. Um, yeah, where was I? Oh yeah. So the next thing that sold is this blue Lane Bryant, um, size 22, 24. It's really cute though. I really liked it. It was a little bit smaller. I would have probably kept it, but it's not. So we're going to ship that off. Let's see if I need to, yeah, I need to delete it a little bit. So let me do that real quick, but it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully this isn't too loud. Well, my, my, uh, microphone's over there so it's not gonna be perfect but i just want to get the most most lint off of it done is better than perfect is my um it's my philosophy doesn't need to be perfect but you know get the big dust off major stuff well, not dust but like you know what i mean do that real quick. Especially on here. So especially when I'm filming. Like if I was like watching a video, I probably would do a little bit more, but you know, yeah. These days done is better than perfect. Totally. And that's what I'm going with in 2023 because I mean I've always thought that philosophy, but I didn't always apply it to myself. You know how that is, right? All right. Um, do you think maybe I could fit this in a pad flat rate? Maybe? I'm going to try to put it in one of these garbage bags. Costco, Kirkland, 10 gallon. That way. Um, love these. Let's see if I can get it really small and then we'll try. Because I would love to save on shipping because this one didn't sell for as much. It sold for $40. So I wanted a little bit more, but you know, I decided, you know what, I'm going to take it because sales begin other sales, right? And 
Come on, it's Lane Bryant. It's not like it's a sought after brand necessarily. It's a cute piece though. That's why I picked it up, you know. I'm happy to pick up Lane Bryant at the bin. And since I only go to the bins, you know, but of course, you know, if I, if I, if I had like something else, if I had like a bunch of other things that were not Lane Bryant, they were way better. I'd probably get all those instead, but you know, Ooh, I think I will. I think it will fit in here. Like just so, like it's going to be. This is going to be like a puffer jacket fitting in here. Come on, you can do it. Of course, it creates that vacuum, so you have to kind of unvacuum the bottom. Okay, do this. You can fit, Lane Bryant. Oh, I just punctured a small hole in it. Okay, that's fine. Not in the coat, but in the packaging. That's okay. So hard to push it in here. I think it's harder on me because I have inflammatory arthritis and my hands do hurt a little bit today, so well a lot bit really, but you know, what are you gonna do? I took my ibuprofen, so it did take a lot of it out, but it doesn't always so, I mean, I am, you know, for all intents and purposes, I have a handicap, basically. You know, it's an invisible one, but there are some days I can't actually use my hand at all. And that, those days suck the most. But, you know, I'm glad I do this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do my little trick, my little eBay trick. Because it's not quite shut, right? But... Here we go. We're gonna put some eBay tape on it that has this white background. So, it'll appear like a shot, but it didn't. It'll be okay. Kinda love eBay tape for that reason. I know a lot of people don't use it because they think it's bad tape. Honestly, I only sell clothing. Clothing and shoes and accessories. And this tape is fine for those. You know, if you sell hard goods and you're sending um, really heavy items, this is not your tape. But if you're like me and you're just a clothing reseller and you choose, this is perfectly fine. I get this for free um, quarterly. I don't get tape necessarily quarterly. I don't know what I'm going to get this quarter. I haven't ordered yet, but I need to think about what I want or what I need with that. Um, okay. How's that right? He made it. Okay, so that'll be cheaper. And I, I think I accounted $14 in shipping. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's pay $8.30. A much better price. Okay. Man, I am so tired today. Okay. But I'm not as tired as I was a couple days ago in the morning, so it is better. Just not. I'm not perfect yet when it comes to sleep. I mean, I'll never be perfect, but. <laughs> oh, because none of us are, right? Okay, so this is the priority one. I like to separate them priority priority versus first class because I can just pop one, one, and pop the other. Well, actually, this one it won't matter because we go to the South Ever one, so yeah, well, um, but. So, what's the next item? Is this jacket? What did it sell on? Hold on. Let's go back to that. Okay, so it's sold on Poshmark. And it sold for $35 um, with no discounted shipping. It was just a straight up sale. I have like, 
I was going to do, I think the last time I made this, I made this video, this kind of video, I said, I'm going to put everything at $4.99 and I actually decided against that. So I'm actually putting everything over a hundred and still getting free shipping, like innate built into it. Um, but things that are under a hundred dollars, they're just I, the new stuff I'm listing no discounted shipping is built in, but I am doing a tiered discounted shipping again on Bosch VA. And here's my little plug for Bosch VA. I do have a code down in my description. Um, if you use Vandy's closet, which is what I originally signed up as that used to be my name. Um, I mean, it still is like on my Poshmark closet. It's Vandy's closet. Anyway, so you can use that to get 20% off your first month. And I do get kickbacks. So um, I very much appreciate it. doesn't cost you any more. I just get extra because I basically shouted out the company. And it's a great company. And I really love using it. It's the best $25 I spent every month to share my Poshmark closet. And I don't use it for my second one because I don't have that, that many. So I just use Poshmark for that. But there's only like 100 listings in there. So it's not that big of a deal. But I have over a thousand, I have 1200, over 1200 listings on Poshmark now. So I don't want to do that sharing on my own. So anyway, um, and I set up a schedule on Poshmark VA. So it just shares in the morning and the afternoon and the evening. I share like eight times a day, I think, or five, seven times a day. And I have to adjust that as my inventory grows. I have to adjust that because I don't want to go over 9,000 shares a day. It gives you, um, it basically tells you what you can't go above anyway. It gives you warnings and stuff like that. Um, you can choose it to follow bulk offers. Um, and I like the functionality of it better than using on Poshmark. So, um, if you want to try it, you get like two weeks for free. Um, and they don't require any credit card information. So it truly is free and it won't like roll over to paid automatically. You have to actually opt into that. So, but then once you do, then it will bill you every month until you cancel it. But I would try it. I've been, and I've been using a bot for years on Poshmark. Still there. I love it when somebody like will say, oh, I'm reporting you to Poshmark. I'm like, okay, you're not the first one that will do it. You're not the last probably. Here I am. Anyway, so my cost of goods with this run, $2. So I made a $26 profit, makes me happy. That. Okay, so now, since this is Poshmark, it doesn't matter where I put it in. So, um, I don't want to use the box necessarily, but my last one of this size, I think it is. At least, last one this size in fall, little colors. I'll use it. I have black ones that are this size, but just plain black. Need to order some more poly mailers. You don't have to order poly mailers if you don't want to, especially if you're just on Poshmark. You can use all the free shipping supplies. It makes me happy. So I use, I buy, I buy poly mailers. You don't have to, but I choose to. So I love it when people are like, you don't, you shouldn't buy that. No, I should buy whatever the hell I want because it's my decision and I'm an adult and I can make those decisions for myself. <gasps> Great. If that's the, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what was I trying to say? The best thing about being an adult is you get to make your decisions. Anyway, so, um, okay. Uh, let's figure out who this person is. Oh, yeah. All right. That one's down. It doesn't really matter what line I put in, really, but, okay. So, mark that as shipped. Okay. Uh, next one is this Lumari from Anthropology. I'm not sure if this actually was sold at Anthropology, but I, I mean, as much as I could figure out in my research that it was, but I don't think it is now. I think it was in the past, but anyway, I don't think this is a newer piece anyway. So this is, uh, yeah just a large dress that had some interesting detail on it. I'll pop up a picture of it. Anyway, 
So it sold for $36 with $268 discounted shipping, less than the mark fee of $720. Removing my cog, I think it was like $212. So I made a $24 profit. Um, so let's ship this. Still have these, a little, a few more of these. I'm almost out of those. So I'll be going back to other poly mailers. need to order some more. Um, other kind of prettier ones. I only have that many. I went through a lot of them already. Okay, so who are you? Okay, let me go back. So, I remember seeing your name. Oh, you Thank you, Kristen. I appreciate your purchase. And if you are a viewer, I appreciate you. I don't think many people that buy from me actually watch my YouTube channel, but you know, sometimes I always wonder. Every every once in a while, I'll get like a message like, "Hey, I love your YouTube channel." I'm like, "Thanks." That's always nice. Okay. Oh, I need to mark it as sold. I cannot do that because you know. Okay, so the next item is I'm just going in the order they are here. This is today. If I remember correctly. No, I'm wrong. That's Poshmark. So this is Ann Taylor Loft. It's a woman medium blouse. Um, and it sold for $15 without discount shipping. Um, so I made $12. So I made a $10 profit. Which I'm fine. It's Ann Taylor. It sold really quick too. I think I posted this. Who did I post this? On the 7th of December, and it sold on the 15th of January. So that's pretty good. It's a pretty good turnaround. A little over 30 days, but you know, yeah. So let's see who you are. Get the right thing. Okay. And. There you go. I am glad that Poshmark did, like, doing better than it was, but still not back to what it was before they started messing with the algorithm. Let me know how yours is going. Is yours better? Is yours worse? Like, the reason why I'm making more sales is because eBay is doing better for me. Um, if I was just on Poshmark, I'd be hurting for sure. Hurting for sure. Okay, so this is shipped. Next item, I think this is eBay. These pink pants, they are J. Crew. Um, J. Crew Women's 8 Marty Pink Wool Blend Career Office Business Pants. I like to put all in there. Um, and they sold for $30 with free shipping. So let me tell you how much I think it's going to cost. There they are. Okay, so I think it's going to cost six twelve dollars shipping. Um, and seven sixty for the fees. So I think I made twelve dollars and twenty eight cents profit. But let's see. Okay, let's ship these and we'll find out. Get the air out of this because I don't want to for air. Okay. I finally made ice cream in my new ice cream maker. I got, I have an old um, KitchenAid sand mixer, right? So I bought off of Amazon, it was like a hundred dollars, but I, half of it was paid from, someone gave me a gift card for my birthday. My friend Scott did, and Josh, Scott and Josh, they're married. Um, they uh, gave me a dollar gift card. So I used that on the ice cream maker. So I chipped in another 50 bucks so I can get that. And then um, we've been making ice cream with it, but it hasn't always been working out. And the thing is because I was adding the ingredients separately as it was spinning. So instead we put it all in a bowl and we whisked it together and then we put it in there and it turned out really well. Like it only took 20, like three minutes for it to, you know, firm up and become ice cream. And so let's see how well it unfolds. Because we froze the rest of it. The other ones were like rock hard. <laughs> when we froze it. So hopefully this isn't rock hard. If it is, we just, you know, set it out for a little bit and it'll melt. But 
Anyway, let's see. Oh, you're not one of these. Let's see. I gotta weigh it. Just make sure. Okay, so 13 ounces. I said one pound, but it's really 13 ounces. Whoops. Oh my god, that's not bad. Okay. I can do this. Always when I'm recording is <laughs> when I have issues. It is 612. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and we just started uh, The Last of Us last night. And it, it just started on Sunday. I don't know what channel it's on. Um, but I'm really, it, it's actually a really good show. My husband played the game. I've never played the game. Um, but it's like a post apocalyptic, like zombie type. But those zombies are fast. I don't like that. Like, I'm used to the Walking Dead zombies where they're not fast. And, uh, yeah, so I was like, oh, I don't like it. It was like, they just, they, they run. They run and they're like, <laughs> they're like more like turned on than like Walking Dead zombies. Anyway, um, but it's a good show. So if you're looking for a new show to watch, I highly recommend, recommend that one, especially if you played the game. My husband said that it's like the first episode was played out exactly like the game did. And I'm like, oh, okay. So you know it's going to happen to a point. But, um, yeah, so it's good. Next item, this was on Depop. So these are a pair of Wolverine, um, basically work pants. And they are size 34, 32. And so they fold. I'll tell you how much it's going for in a moment. Got to fold this better. Um... Go to my deep top. Gotta buy my label. They do do free shipping on deep top. Okay. Address. Okay. Let's log in. All right. I do love on um, pirate chip that you can just paste the address in. You don't have to type it in because that would be a big old pain in the butt. Um, okay. Put this in packaging. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I think it will. Barely. I would have I should have put in the other kind I have, which I can't wait to get rid of those other ones. I don't like the ones that have this, you know, you take the strip off. I like the resealable ones, like the, these ones that are, have like a, what do you call it, Ziploc on the top. I like those better. Okay. Oh no. I like totally sliced the top of my fingernail. So it takes four, right? Okay, I'll put it in here too, and then weigh it. I'm pretty sure it's going into a kind of flat rate, honestly. It's going to be over 2,000. It keeps turning off. I have it plugged in. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I have it plugged in, but you got one of those AC adapters um, that can have multiple plug-ins. I'm not sure that those are the best. Okay, yeah, so it's two pounds for sure. Now maybe this will, I do try to use these if I can, but I don't know if it'll fit in there. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it'd be hard for me to fit in there. I'll just pay the extra and just put it in here, it's fine. It'll be easier for me to get in there. I sometimes I don't want to mess with the other one because it's just sometimes it's hard to close it and if I'm having a bad hand day then 
you know, I don't really want to exert that much energy for it. Okay. So, that's what we're going with. Had a flat rate. Which I'm pretty sure I marked it as 8.30 anyway, because I knew that I would have to, so. Print you. And mark you as shipped. Another offer, another return request. Awesome. Had a few of them recently, and you know what? I've been selling more, so the sleeves are too short for a medium size. No, it's just that. That's so funny. I love it when people are like, "It's like it's it doesn't fit." It's like that's fine. You don't even need it. Send it back because it doesn't fit. You don't need to justify it. But I love when people they do. It's like okay. it doesn't fit. That's that's good enough, honestly. But it's okay. That's funny. Okay. Oh, starting off this week right with a return request. Of course. Okay, so okay, now we're doing this one. Poshmark. So this is J. Jill Women's Large Wherever Collection Smooth Fit Pencil Skirt. It's an abstract print. It's over $28 uh, minus the Poshmark fee, $560. Discount shipping of $268. I made $1972, but after my cog taken out, I made like $1772. So that's great. I don't mind that. That's actually a pretty good flip for J. Jill. And it's skirt at that, right? So, oh yeah, I have not been using consistently using these thank you stickers. I really need to. Okay. Print it out for you. All right, so let's turn that side down. This is cut from the cloth. So that was on Poshmark, I believe. So let's see. Yeah. Cut from the cloth. Oh, I should go back and read that. Uh, women's large blue white shirts. Semi sheer, semi sheer, semi sheer roll tab sleeve blouse. It sold for twenty eight dollars with discounted shipping. The higher one, not the free one though. Um, Five sixty fees. So I made nineteen seventy two. But after my cogs removed, I made um, eighteen dollars because my cogs were like a dollar seventy for this. So, which I love it when I can get my cogs under two dollars. Like my cogs used to be like I used to get them down to almost fifty cents sometimes. Those were the days. Those are pre-pandemic days. Um, not anymore. My, I'm happy, but now I mean, it's still between a dollar fifty and three dollars. So usually, so I'm happy with that. My cost of goods are still very, very low because I primor primarily, primarily shop at the bins, and my bins are great. So, and if you have good bins, that's good. I mean use them i would use them exclusively if you have good bins but if you don't i totally understand why you don't because not everyone does there are some areas that their bins just suck but i would say though if you've only gone once and it sucked go more go more times because you know you can't tell from one experience if it's going to be a good experience ever okay let me find this for the time there we are but 
I mean, some people just don't like the dirtiness of it. And for a long time, I didn't either. But, like, I got over myself and went back. So, okay. You are shit. Okay, next item is this free people dress. And this sold on Poshmark. Free people, new romantics, woman six, western, boho, high, low, floral dress. So... Well, for $25 with no discounted shipping, after Poshmark fee of $5, I made a net profit, well, a profit of $20. After my cogs, it was 18 So, yay, yay. Okay, who are you? Where's that person? Cool. All right. So, I almost did this live today. I contemplated it, but I wasn't sure. I don't know. I feel like lives, I shouldn't be doing this. I don't know, maybe. A lot of people do. I just. I haven't done a live in a long time. Maybe I should just do a live, just say hi and see who shows up and have a conversation. Um, but anyway, so this is, where did you sell on? Okay. Um, yes. Lucky Brand Men's Large Western Pearl Snap Tan White Shirt. Sold for $29.74. So let me tell you how that broke down. Where are you at? Oh, here they are. Here it is. Uh, it sold f uh, after fees. So I the fees are six ninety seven with promoted. Um, Five twenty three, I think, is shipping. So I made a profit of fifteen fifty four. I'm pretty sure it'll the shipping will be right. Well, let's find out. I'm pretty good at guesstimating that now, actually. Four thirty nine, so even better. Okay, so I will print that and fix fix it. This next one are some jeans that I sold for a little bit lower than I actually wanted to sell them for, but it is what it is, and I'm moving on with my life. But um, I did get these at the bin. So these are, I'm sure these are, yeah, uh, Levi 70s high, slim, straight. Um, they were the um, premium ones. They sold for 25 bucks, but they've been there for a while. Like, how long have they been there for? Watch, I was like, been there for like a month. No, I've been there since October. Where are you? Oh, here they are. Uh, yeah, I listed this at the beginning of October. So, I don't know. I could have held out for more, but, um, I did get these at the bin, so I only paid $2 for them, so it's not that big of a deal. I made an $18 profit, so, I mean, that is good. So for $25, no discount shipping, and I'm Poshmark, so, thank you. I got 
figure out which person this is. Um, okay. There's one. Nope. They changed their name? No, I just can't read. Here it is. Okay. So, next item is this. I, this did sell on eBay. And back to orders. This is the Vermont Country Store Women's Large Modest Dark Floral Navy Blue Dress. I always put modest in there because it's a very it's a very modest brand. So that way you're gonna, you know, attract the people you want, buy it. Anyway, so not silver twenty five twenty eight. So after shipping and fees and all that, I think I'll make ten dollars and fifty six cents. But let's see how much it's going to cost to ship it. I think this is a bit over a pound, which sucks. I wish there was a middle one, like one and a half pounds. There's so much that will fit in a, a, a pound and a half. I don't know why it goes from one to two. That's kind of stupid, but you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Yep. Just over. So... going to West Virginia. So yeah. Yep. It's going to cost me a little bit more than I thought. Let's see if I can fit in this. Maybe. Yeah. That'll fit. A little tape on it to reinforce it. I like to do that for these. Okay. And I'm going to reinforce the side here. Okay. So we will be buying a lesser one at least. And I got to put this my spreadsheet and my venue. Bit more than I wanted to spend, but that's okay. I mean, a little less. Nine sixty four is my profit. Still, profit is profit, right? So happy about that. All right. Come on, the internet, you can do it. Next item. This was kind of cool that it sold so fast. It's another eBay one. It is vintage white stag, which I think white stag is either JCPenney or uh, I think it's JCPenney actually. Women's urban khaki prairie boho mini, not mini, maxi skirt size large. So. Here it is. So it sold for $25.49. And I think it's going to cost $6.12 for shipping. $6.07 were the fees. So I made $11.30 in profit. That's after my cogs being removed. So let's see if I'm right. Let's ship this. Oh, yeah. I pre measured this. So it should be fine. It should still be 14 pounds. Not pounds. Wow. 
That's a heavy skirt. 14 ounces. Jeez. Of course, I picked up that skirt thing. It'll do really well on Depop. So money bag. Really funny. What's going on? 14 two. So 15, but it'll still be the same price. Because 14 ounces of 15 ounces are the same amount of money in Japan. I was right. So that a few to go. I think I had 22 to ship today. It was a pretty good weekend. I think mean, last weekend I only had like 17. I don't remember. All right, so this next one is LL Bean. I do know that from just touching it. That sold. It also sell on. Let's see. Mm -mm. That's Poshmark. Poshmark. Okay. Yes. So this is a, it sold for $35 with discount shipping. Um, with $7 is the fee for Poshmark. So I made $25.32 in profit. It's LLB men's gray popover insulated. Um, thermal shirt. So, yeah. Excited about that. Okay. So, this can go into just a bigger black one. Whoop. Come on. So, I can get these ones. They're pretty big size. So, it'll fit this no problem. Probably a little bit. Yeah, I probably didn't need this bigger one, but I'm still going to need this. All right. Oh, it doesn't matter. The Poshmark. It doesn't matter. It won't be five pounds. It's not that heavy. Like two pounds. Okay. Oh, and it's a large, tall, large. So I like to get those. I like to get tall and short because I'm short. I'm five one, and so I need. I end up buying what I end up buying most of the time because not everyone gives short um as a as a um option so i end up buying like ankle you know things that are ankle or capri capris are ankle on me so yeah just kind of funny or fit me right so okay the next one this is where are we at i am marking the shipped Billabong sold on Poshmark, uh, sold for $15 with discounted shipping. So I made $9.32, but after, um, what's that? after my cost of goods is taken out, I actually made like $7, which is fine. Um, yeah. I made seven thirty-two, which is fine. It was actually a pretty quick sale. I it, it sold in two days, so I'm happy to make a little bit and move it really fast like that. I'm happy about that. I mean, on something like this, they're just um, we call it swim cover-up type pants. Anyway, so who are you? Okay, we're the next person I want. So cool. All right, so this one sold on Macari. This is my only sale all week on Macari, and it's a loft, of course, it's a loft. So let me bring up Macari here. I have to open the site in order to market a ship anyway, so at least easily. Okay. 
things in progress, not, yeah, there we go. Yeah, the site is loading so slow. All right, so it's Ann Taylor Outlet too, but it's a cute dress. Ann Taylor Loft Outlet, women's medium chambray tie neck dress, full for $27. Um, so the fees are, Nope, that's not right. Did I even put it in here? I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. Okay, so I need to update that then. I really didn't know how much shipping was going to be. Probably why I didn't mark it. On my spreadsheet, because I don't like to mark on my spreadsheet without knowing the shipping. Although I guesstimated it was going to be that. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on my spreadsheet now so I don't forget. I don't know what's there. I'm just blind. Okay, so $3.98 were the fees. $5.38, I think, is the new shipping. And so, and she bought it for $27. So I made $15.64, which is fantastic. So let me copy her address, go to Pirate Ship, buy the label. And I need to go, I have a virtual mailbox at Staples. And um, so I need to go to Staples and get some returns that came in recently from eBay. And one item that I purchased off of Poshmark. Okay, so yeah. Measure, not measure. Nine ounces. So it's actually a little cheaper. Not a whole lot. But a tiny bit. He's been not doing that great for me in the last like week. It was doing better, and now it's not. So I was like, all right. So just just one more Poshmark one to do. Throw that away. Okay, so this is. I know this is gonna be. Um. Yes, this is eBay. See. Lauren Ralph Lauren Women's 10 Black Floral Ruched Three Four Sleeve Sheep Dress for $30. Even someone offered me 20, so I was like, or 25. I was like, no, um, I know this is going to be over a pound. So how about 30? I didn't say anything back and they accepted. So, um, I did my spreadsheet. I made everything, my font on my spreadsheet is actually really tiny. It's like, like, um, 75% of it's like type eight font at this point, but did not output that in there. Oh, I did. I'm just blind again. So, um, oh yeah, I think it's going to be 760 for the shipping. 712 was the fees. And so, um, I made 1339. I paid $1.89 for this at the bin. So. 1339, 189 into 1339 is a pretty good turnaround. And it was in two months, basically. So, um, you're out of this. I'll put it in this two and then I'll put it into a flat rate, Taylor. 
double check that I do. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm going to use the cardboard one. Which I always try to use this one if I can, but if not, it's padded. Okay. So that is not that person. Now pay it first. anything okay all right next item is I know this is gonna be on this is literally sold the day after I listed it and let me tell you what it is Orders. It is Garnet Hill Woman's Cream 100% Cashmere Long Line Cable Knit Open Cardigan Large. So I was happy to find that at the bins um, just like a few days ago. Listed it and boom. So I know I did a, I found a lot of good stuff um, recently at the bins and I didn't do a haul. So sorry about that. But um, I was thinking about maybe after I listed it all, maybe doing a haul with my photographed pictures. I don't know. What do you think about that? Do you think that's a good way to do it? I I haven't done it that way before, but maybe, maybe I can do it that way. We'll see. So, um, so she bought it for 50 bucks. I had it up there for 75 and it was on sale at the time. And then she, it was like 15% off on sale. And so she offered me 50, which was 25, not well, it's like 33% off. And I decided, you know what? It sold like right away for 50 bucks. I'm going to take it. So, um, yeah. So I made, where are you at? There you are. I made after fees and everything's taken out. I made $31 and 70 cents. And I'm pretty sure I can get this. This is going to be, uh, I think, 538. It's slightly bigger, though. Slightly bigger? Yes. Um, I wish I thank you stick on this one, though. I keep forgetting to do it. It doesn't help them like two coffees in. I know for some people, they're like, that's all I drink every day. I had like four coffees a day. That's what I drink. That's okay. We get 12 ounces. So, that here, yep, that's 538. I didn't even get the inventory yet. I pulled so fast. So I'm happy about that. Very quick profit. Okay. These are the protege. Um, Adriana Goldschmied. They sold on eBay uh, for $29.44. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get that into a padded flat rate. So, um, yeah, because I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to get that in the other one. So, um, after fees and my cost of goods removed, um, I made a profit of $12.65. I paid $1.78 for the simple bins. So, but that's 1265s after that's removed. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. I will put it on 
have a flat rate. I'm gonna put a thank you sticker on this and call it a day. my venue because I did put the lower one. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Really, I ended up using the powder flower rate, as you saw, not the paper one. Not the flower rate envelope. Alright. One more eBay to ship. And one more Depop and one more. Um, but that Depop sale is from almost two weeks ago. This next, this other Depop sale. So let's ship it. She was on vacation when she bought this. This is Anthropology. So. Um, oh, she bought it for $22. I'd still have to pay for shipping though. So copy your address. She, she gets back tomorrow. So I live in Washington. This is going to Massachusetts, like Washington on the West coast, not DC. And so it's going to take a hot minute to get to her anyway. It's going first class so um yeah even if she got back on the 20th and I, I think you'll get the, it, she'll get there before it will so Is. Oh, you stick it on it though. Yeah, put it in there. Four ounces. Well, that's cool. That's like bottom tier. The lowest amount of ounces you can use for the shipping label. I think it's, as far as I have t been able to tell from buying different labels, four ounces, the next benchmark is eight ounces, then 12 ounce, then below, yeah, between, no, I, yeah, I think it's between eight and like 11.9, and then 12 and up is the same. Well, 12 to one point, or 12 to like 15 pounds, I think it is, but on eBay, it's 15.9 they have a special deal but if it's one pound on pirate ship it's goes to priority at that point so keep that in mind if you're buying on, pri on pirate ship that if it's 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 not the same as ebay on that cutoff you can put one pound and it says 11.59 on ebay it doesn't work that way on pirate ship so keep that in mind This is shipped. I'm glad they don't like ding you for shipping late. I asked her that too. I'm like, do you know they ding you for shipping late? So I just kind of trusted her um, on it, but yeah. I'm happy just to kind of, I hit, just put it out and had it on a shelf downstairs. All right. Woo. 
That did not make it in there. Okay. So this is the last eBay one. It's Victoria's Secret. It sold just this morning. Let's go back to that. Victoria's Secret Women's Medium Large Red Crushed Velvet Lounge Pants. They sold for $25. I still have to pay for shipping. So let's see how much that's going to cost. The last one. Okay, so oops. we're done with the Christmassy, wintry type of poly mailers. Off to different ones now. Stay on. I think I need a different cable for it. So 15 ounces. All right. So basically one pound it is 668, which I think that's what I put in my spreadsheet too. Let's double check. Yeah. So, um, the marketplace fees were $6. My cost of goods was two zero two zero six two dollars and six cents. So I made a profit of $10 and 26 cents. So purchase and print. Okay, and the last but not least is this one, which Sold five minutes after I listed it this morning. Um, I listed it for thirty dollars. She's like, "How about twenty-five? I'm like, "How about yes?" And um, yeah, I put that on my Instagram. It's like the fastest uh, sale I've made in a really long time. Actually, I think it's the fastest sale ever. I think the other one was ten minutes, so or twenty minutes, something like something like that. But that makes me happy. Let's make sure these other ones really are mark shipped. Yes, 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 yes. Last one. So I will use this formula, which I haven't used in a long, long time. Hello, I'm what you've been waiting for. Is a thank you sticker on it. Oh my god, I'll tell you what this is. If you're just listening to me. It's our women's crew neck, uh, sleeveless knit, like, uh, what do you call it? Crop sweater vest, basically. Um, so it sold for $25 with no discounted shipping. So I made an $18 profit because I paid $2 for it. So very happy about that. And that is it. We are done shipping. Yay. And I got three uh, eBay totes, not eBay totes, <laughs> USPS totes to take with me. So thank you so much. If you've been here this entire time, I really appreciate you. Um, please like this video. If you like this video, got any value out of this video or entertained by this video, um, if I kept you company, please give me a like. Um, I would love if you would stick around and hit subscribe, take a chance. Um, I have haul videos, which I'm going to have to work on that one after I do everything, um, list everything and then haul it. Maybe that's what I'll do from now on. Make sure I list it all and then haul it. I don't know. Um, tell me what you feel, what you feel about that in the comments. Um, also leave me a comment. <laughs> Just leave me a comment. It helps me with the algorithm. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching. Okay.